today we are going to create this seamless opacity transition inside the free version of the Vinci Resort. I will also be sharing project files in a community post but it will be available for the channel members only. So if you are interested you can get it just in 29 rupees. Alright let's get started. Open the edit page of the Vinci Resort then simply go to media pool and drag your first clip to the timeline. Make sure to place it in the beginning of your composition. Okay. Now just in case if you want to know all of the clips I am using is at 0 to seconds long. Alright. Now let's set our second clip. So for that press shift and right arrow to move on second forward and at this point simply go to media pool and drag your second clip to the timeline. Make sure to place it wherever playback it is. Okay. Now go to end of your second clip, then press go. It will set the preview area. Now what we are going to do is select both clips, then right click on any of them and from the menu we are going to choose this new fusion clip. Click on it and it will create a new fusion composition. Now simply place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page. Okay, so once you are in fusion, it will have something like this. Now the first thing we are going to do is rearrange the nodes because I don't like how the Vinci Resolve does it by default. So click on this background node and place it somewhere around here. Then click on this median one node and place it on top of this merge one node. Select the both nodes and place it after background node. Now click on this median two node and place it on top of this merge two node. Select the both nodes and place it like this. Click on this media out node and try to drag it somewhere around here. Okay. Alright now let's do the animation. So for that move to frame 30 because this is where our second clip starts. And at this point click on this merge 2 node then go to inspector and scroll down. Here you will see this blend option. Add a keyframe to it and decrease the blend to 0. Then move 10 frames forward to frame 40. And at this point simply increase the blend to all the way up. And it will simply create a blend animation like this. Alright now let's go to frame 30 once again. And now we are going to create our main animation. So with this merge 2 node selected add a transform node to it. Then simply move 10 frames backward to frame 20, okay? And at this point, simply go to inspector and add a keyframe for the center xy, size and also for the angle. Now what we're going to do is move 30 frames forward, which will be frame 50. And at this point, add a keyframe for the center xy once again, also for the size and also for the angle. Now click on this mini arrow to move to our first keyframe. And at this point, we're going to change values for each parameters. So first thing first, double click on the size box and change the value to 1.2. Click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now double click on this angle box and change the angle to 30. Click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Now let's adjust the position. But before that, go to viewer, press control and use the mouse wheel to zoom out like this. Now what we're going to do is click on this square box in the middle and drag the clips like this. So let's clip it somewhere around here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is simply click on this merge one node, then go to inspector and scroll down. You'll see this option called edges. Click here and change the edges to mirror. Now simply scroll up and what we're going to do is reset the changes for this clip. So first thing first, double click on this angle box and change the angle to minus 30. Click here once to apply the changes and it will reset the angle. Now go to viewer and click on the square box and drag it upwards like this. So let's place it somewhere around here. Okay. Now let's go to frame zero. Then click here and set the preview area like this. Then double click here and play it. You'll see we'll have something like this. And it's actually looking good but the animation is actually slower. So we need to change the curve. So let's do it. First thing first let's deselect this merge 2 node. Then click on the zoom to fit icon. And now select the keyframes. Then press S on your keyboard. Now go somewhere around here and press T. It will reveal the ease in and out section. Simply click on this lock icon. Then Click on this box and change the value. Let's change the value to something like 70. Okay. And now if I go to frame 0. Then double click here and play it. So now we'll have something like this. And as you can see it has been looking quite faster than before. Okay. Let's also enable the mirror edges for our second clip. So click on this merge 2 node. Then go to inspector and scroll down. And go to this edge section and change the edges to mirror. Alright. Now we are going to add the black bars to make it even more better. So let's do this. First let me select all these nodes and drag them like this then click here once to deselect everything and now what i'm going to do is select this transform node and add a background node to it let's rearrange the nodes click here and place it somewhere around here take the background node and move it upwards like this now simply add a rectangle mask to it so click here and add the mask go to inspector and invert the mask then click here and increase the width to all the way up and also click here and change the height slightly so let's keep it around here okay now what I'm going to do is click on this transform one node and go to frame 20. Then click on this rectangle node. Now go to inspector and add a keyframe for the height. Uh, let's click here and drag the height to all the way up. Then go to frame 50 because this is where our animation ended. And at this point add a keyframe for the height once again. Now what I'm going to do is move 15 frames backwards. So it will be frame 35. And at this point simply click here 
and move it downwards. So let's keep the black bars somewhere around here. Okay. Now let's adjust the curves. So double click on this transform one box to deselect it. And then click on the zoom to fit icon. Now select the keyframes and press S. Now take this bottom handle and move it like this. And also take the right side of it and move it somewhere around here. Uh, let's keep it around here. Okay. Now if I go to frame zero, double click here and play it, we'll have something like this. Mm, I guess the black bar is actually quite fast, so let me stop it and click on the zoom to fit icon. Um, I will take this lift handle and move it slightly around here and also take this right handle and let's move it around here. Now let's play it once again. Uh, let's double click here and play it. So now we'll have something like this and I guess it's actually looking quite good. Okay. Now let's enable the motion blur. So click on this transform one node then go to inspector and switch to the settings tab and here you will see the motion blur tick the box change the quality to all the way up then change the shutter angle to all the way up if you want you can double click on the shutter angle box and change the value to 720 it will make the motion blur even more better but for the tutorial sake i'm going to keep it as it is okay so let me click here to deselect everything and now let's go to edit page and render our clip okay so my render is done now we are going to create the second part of our animation so for that simply move two seconds forward because this will be the middle of our second clip and at this point go to the media pool and drag the third clip to the timeline then place it wherever playback head is okay now go to end of this third clip and press o to set the preview area now select the both clips right click on any of them and convert them into fusion clip place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page okay so here i have already rearranged the nodes now let's clear the animation so for that simply move to frame 60 because this is where our third clip starts and at this point click on this merge 2 node then go to the inspector scroll down and add a keyframe for the blend and decrease the value to 0 move 15 frames forward which will be frame 75 and at this point increase the blend value to all the way up now let's go to frame 60 once again and from there we are going to move 10 frames backward which will be frame 50 okay and at this point simply add a transform node then go to the inspector and add a keyframe for the center xy also for the size and also for the angle. Now simply move 30 frames forward which will be frame 80 and this time we are going to change the value for this part ok. So go to the inspector and double click on the size box change the size to 1.2 then double click on this angle box and change the angle to minus 30. Let's click here on start the changes. Now let's go to viewer and zoom out a little bit and I will click on this part and drag it somewhere around here. So let's place it around this place maybe and let's move it a little bit upwards like around here okay now let's adjust the curve so go to this spline tab double click on this box to deselect it click on this zoom to fit icon and select the keyframes then press s on your keyboard now go around here and press t click on this lock icon and increase the value to somewhere around maybe 70 okay now what i'm going to do is click on this merge to node and go to the inspector scroll down and change the edges to mirror scroll up and we're going to change the value for this clip so double click on this angle box and change the angle to 30 click here once to apply the changes and now we have to adjust the clip so click here and drag it somewhere around here so let's place it around this place maybe okay now also click on this merge one node then go to the inspector scroll down and for this one as well change the edges to mirror now the rest of the process is actually the same, you have to enable the motion blur and create the black bars. So let's go to edit read and preview it. So we'll have something like this. And as you can see, it's actually looking pretty smooth. Now if you notice, it's actually kind of stopping in the middle. You can fix that by adjusting the keyframes. Just start the animation a little bit earlier, okay? So that's all for today. If the tutorial was helpful, then give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. And make sure to watch my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. So see ya.